Okay, this video is for John to show him how to program a generation one or first generation a D Star transceiver. I'm trying to hold the camera still, but you can see it's bouncing. Let me see if I can move it back a little bit here. Whoa, hold on. Now oh, you can't see the screen as well. Okay, so what I do, press the menu, menu, CS for call sign, press the call sign button. That brings up your general settings, your, your call sign, my call sign, RPT1 and RPT2. So let's press the uh, button again. Now see there it says your call sign and I have CQ, CQ, CQ. If I spin my main VFO dial, there's setting 1, see U01 right there, that's my first setting which is U, unlink. Setting 2 is Reflector 35 Charlie link. Setting 3 is Reflector 001 Charlie, which is 1 Charlie, the uh, mega reflector. In my 4 field, I have E, which is the echo test feature. And then in my 5th memory storage, I have Reflector 12 Alpha, and that's to get a hold of you, John. Okay, and there's nothing in my 6 field. So if you want to edit the six field, this is how you edit a call sign or a memory. Whoops. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Let's go reflector. So I'm spinning the VFO. R E F. Let's do uh, shoot, I don't even know. Let's just make up one. Uh how about 35 0? Let's see, I'm pressing the buttons up here. Zero, three, five. We'll do A. So that's reflector 35 alpha, but then we need to put the L on the end to cause it to link. So there's reflector 035 AL. Now I think we hit this button, which is still in the 035 AL. Still number zero six, even though there's nothing there. So we're going to put set. So now it's in my your call field is zero three five AL. Let's check through the settings again. Whoa, the camera's messed up. So let's go through the settings again. Setting one, two, three, four, five, and now I have six as reflector thirty five AL. Let's go to a blank one, seven. We'll do it one more time. So we're going to push edit. Um, R E F. Let's do uh, zero, whoops, zero, three, five, uh, bravo. So we'll spin the VFO dial for Bravo. And then we need the L for link. So 035BL. I'm going to push the first button again right here. Push it. Oops, maybe I didn't push it. Oh, I'm, I lied. It's the menu button. Let's see if we can get the thing to focus here. So I press the menu button. And now see how set's blinking? We're going to push the set button. So now my your call field is set to REF035 Bravo link. Let's go through all my settings. That one is used dash dash. That's always in there. That's because that's the one you use the most. Setting one is unlink. Setting two is 35 Charlie. Setting three, and I'm just moving the VFO knob here. Boy, you can't even see it, can you? There we go. So, Charlie, they're setting 4, Echo. Setting 5 is 12 Alpha. Setting 6 is the one we just programmed in before this one. Setting 7 is the one that we just did a minute ago, REF035, Bravo. And 8 should be blank. Whoops. 8 should be blank. So let's program another one. I'm going to hit the edit button. We're going to put REF. E. 
F. Um, let's do zero, 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 one. I don't even know if there is a reflector one Bravo, but we're going to put it in anyway. Bravo, and then L for link. Okay, now we're going to hit the menu button. And set's flashing, so we're going to hit set. So now that's also in my your call field. So if I was to key up right now, I'm actually not on, if you notice, I'm on 443.400, which is not our D-star repeater. But let's pretend it is. So it just sent that link to reflector one Bravo. I'm not going to get a reply right now, because if we actually go to the D-star, D-star, whoops, if we actually go to the D-star, you'll hear that the pop and net is going on. See the L? That stands for packet loss. That's why the L up there stands for packet loss and that's why he sounds like garbage because he's not uh, sending out all the packets. See, sounds like garbage. So anyway, let's go back up to 400. So now, if you want to access your memories, uh, you find the menu that has the CS. So you press your menu button until you see the CS. Press CS. Sh shows you all your current. Notice in your call field, it's still set to one Bravo. So I press the button again. And if you move it to the very first right, it should always be CQ, 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 because it's always programmed in there. So we can just put set. That's what you use just to talk to somebody. So see, when I key up there, it's sending the CQ, 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 which is what you keep it in for normal conversations. Well, let's say I want to unlink the repeater. So now I put it on U, I press set, and now when I key up, it sends the U command for unlinking. Once it's unlinked, I put it back in CQ, 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 press set, and when I key up, it's in CQ, CQ, CQ mode. If I want to link to reflector 35 Charlie, we go find 35 Charlie, press set, and when we key up, that's what it sends, link to reflector 35 Charlie. When we're done, put it back in CQ, CQ, CQ mode. And that's how you link and unlink reflectors on the Icon 9100.